It's umsum time. How do hurricanes uh -huh. form? I form them. I am the master of thunder. Oh, <laughs> umsum. To buy umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> Hurricanes form only over warm ocean waters near the equator. This warm water evaporates, resulting in the formation of warm, moist air over the ocean surface. This air rises up, creating an area of low air pressure below. Air from surrounding areas pushes into this low pressure area. This air also becomes warm and moist and rises. This cycle keeps on continuing. Now, as the warm, moist air keeps on rising, it cools off and forms clouds. Even big, stormy, cumulonimbus clouds are formed. Now, as the warm air continues to rise upward, winds start blowing in a circular pattern around the center. Once these winds reach a speed of 74 miles per hour, the storm is officially classified as a hurricane. Topic: Earthquakes. <laughs> what causes earthquakes? I, me, and myself. Yeah, yeah, you show off. <laughs> An earthquake is violent shaking of the Earth's crust. The Earth's crust is a hard outer covering oh. made up of many pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are always moving. However, the motion is very slow. In a year, they move only oh. two to five centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> My hair grows faster than their movements. Huh? Absolutely. Mostly when these tectonic plates move, they brush against each other without causing great damage. However, sometimes they get stuck and cannot easily slide mm. against each other. But the plates still keep pushing, oh. thus creating pressure. Eventually, the pressure builds up so much that one of the plates suddenly moves above the other. Or they may crash into each other, causing the crust to shake violently, huh? thus creating an earthquake. Oh. Why do volcanoes erupt? Don't worry. Um, some will stop them from erupting. Oh, um, some. Deep inside the Earth, temperatures are so high that some rocks start melting. Now, as the rocks melt, their mass remains the same, but their volume increases. As a result, they get converted into magma, which is less dense as compared to the surrounding as well as overlying rocks. Now, because of buoyancy, this lighter magma starts rising towards the surface of the Earth and gets collected in magma chambers. Eventually, this magma pushes through the vents and fissures and erupts through the Earth's surface. What makes ice clear or cloudy? At home, huh? we generally use room temperature tap water to make ice. At room temperature, water has many dissolved minerals, gases, etc., ah. which are invisible to our naked eyes. <laughs> On freezing this water, its temperature starts dropping and ice starts to form from outside. Hence, the minerals and gases oh. no longer remain dissolved. Huh? But as they cannot escape out, they get pushed towards the unfrozen center. Eventually, when the center mm. freezes, the trapped minerals and gases become visible, making ice cloudy. Will it rain from the cloudy ice? Oh, just mm -hmm. listen. Now, to avoid the situation, mm. some specialized ice makers make ice slowly oh. layer by layer. In this technique, water is made to continuously flow over the surface of a cool container. Thus, water begins to freeze from the bottom of the container, layer by layer, giving the minerals and gases time to escape from the top, making ice clear. <laughs> <laughs> what is a tsunami? Huh? I don't know! Tsunami oh. is a series of giant waves. <laughs> in Japanese, tsunami means harbor wave. And in Chinese? <laughs> oh, just listen. A wave is created when energy passes through water. Moving air or wind provides energy to water, forming regular waves. Hmm. Oh. While on the ocean floor, when a tectonic plate suddenly slides beneath the other, the resulting earthquake releases a tremendous amount of energy. This energy spreads outward from the point of earthquake, triggering waves that can form tsunami. Initially, these waves are small in size, but they travel at great speeds. Oh. However, when the waves approach the shore, the rising seabed <laughs> obstructs the energy of waves. This slows down the speed of waves but the energy flux must remain constant, leading to an increase in the height of waves, 
thus resulting in tsunami. <laughs> Topic buoyancy. <laughs> oh! Hmm? Hmm? Oh! Can you drown in the Dead Sea? Your answer must be yes, right? You must be thinking that anyone who cannot swim will obviously drown, whether it is a swimming pool or the Dead Sea. However, that is not 100% true. Confused? Let me explain to you. When an object is partly or wholly immersed in a fluid, an upward force is exerted by the fluid on that object. This tendency of the fluid to exert an upward force on the object is called buoyancy, or upthrust. This upward force is called buoyant force. So, do you finally get it? Hmm, let me give you one more example. Place a piece of wood in water and push it downwards. What do you observe? It seems like something is pushing the piece of wood upwards, right? Water exerts an upward force on the wood. That is why the wood is getting pushed upwards. This force is called buoyant force, and the tendency of water to exert that buoyant force is called buoyancy. Dead Sea has a huge amount of salt dissolved in it as compared to any other sea or ocean. The presence of this salt increases density of water present in the Dead Sea. Higher density leads to greater buoyant force. As the Dead Sea has very high density, it exerts enough amount of buoyant force to make us float on it. So, if we can float on the Dead Sea, we are definitely not going to drown in it. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Why do we have seasons? Huh? Because of season fairies! <laughs> no! Huh? It is mainly because of our Earth's axis. Huh? Our Earth's axis is tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees. Hence, as the Earth revolves oh. around the Sun, sometimes the Northern Hemisphere huh? points towards the Sun, while sometimes the Southern Hemisphere. This causes seasons. Oh man, it is too complicated. All right, let us observe the Northern Hemisphere to learn more about seasons. When the Northern Hemisphere points towards the Sun, the Sun rays oh. directly strike the Northern Hemisphere. Thus, the temperatures are high, resulting in summer season in that region. However, when the Northern Hemisphere points away from the Sun, the Sun rays fall slanting on it. Thus, the temperatures are low, resulting in <laughs> winter season. But when the Northern Hemisphere is neither oh. tilted towards nor away from the Sun, the temperatures are moderate resulting in spring and autumn season. <laughs> Topic, ear. Hmm? How do ears help oh. with balancing? Hmm. They really do. Hmm. You don't believe me. Hmm. Huh? Okay, can you play guitar oh. and walk at the same time? <laughs> How do you think you are able oh. to maintain your balance? Hmm? 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 Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Do you know why you can't balance oh. yourself anymore? Hmm. Wait, I will tell you. <laughs> this happens because there is a connection between our ears and body balance. <laughs> our ear consists huh? of three parts. Outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. Our huh? inner ear works in sync with our eyes and muscles, helping us maintain balance while we are doing various activities. The inner ear consists of three semicircular canals huh? called superior semicircular canal, posterior semicircular canal, and a lateral semicircular canal. The three huh? semicircular canals are arranged in three different positions. Oh. Each of these canals has a fluid oh. called endolymph. <laughs> and hair cells huh? called cilia at the base. Whenever we move our head, the fluid moves, resulting in the movement of the cilia as well. Oh. Huh? When the cilia moves, it sends signals to the brain informing which direction our head has just moved in. Each oh. canal has different huh? functions as per the movement of our head. Hooray! 
when we move our head up and down, the superior semicircular canal helps Whoa. our brain to understand the yes motion. <laughs> When we tilt our head towards our shoulders, the posterior semicircular canal helps our brain to understand the tilting motion. When we move our head from side to side, the lateral semicircular canal helps our brain to understand the no motion. It was too complicated, right? Okay, don't worry about it. Relax. Why don't you go on a merry-go-ride? Hey, why were you not able to maintain huh? your balance? Hmm? This is because hmm? when you sat in the merry-go-round and started <laughs> rotating, the fluid Whoa. in the semicircular canals also started huh? to move. Huh? After a while, it was moving at oh. the same rate at which you were moving. However, hmm? when the ride stopped and you got down from the ride, oh. the fluid was still in motion due to inertia. Hence, hmm? even though uh -huh. you were not hmm. moving, the moving fluid gave your brain false information telling you that you are still in motion. Thus, you are not able to maintain your balance. Mm.